Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the Joel Cans AH75. It is a 15 pound capacity aluminum construction 74 inch camera tripod. So taking a closer look and from putting it together from the unboxing and fooling around with it, it is a very nice tripod for the price it is being sold for. I believe it is $31 with a 10% clickable coupon. So it comes to just $28 and it is an Amazon Prime product. So I've been using an old Canon tripod from way back in 95 and I also got a Sunpak Ultra 6000 PG tripod a couple of years ago. They are both very well made tripods which costed twice as much as this Joel Can tripod. Now the Canon tripod has the traditional locking knob to rotate and twist to lock tilt handle. Now the Sunpak has the pistol grip style ball head which is really nice too because it is a one hand capable rotate and tilt head. Now the Joel Can tripod has the traditional rotate locking knob and the twist to tilt handle. It comes with two quick release mounting plates with the quarter inch screw which is really nice so if you lose one you still have one backup and it also comes with a rotatable spring-loaded phone mount which you can use with or without the rotatable mount. So it will rotate a full 360 degrees in either direction without limitation so you can keep spinning it and it will tilt up and down a full 180 degrees and it will flip 90 degrees for landscape to portrait mode by loosening the vertical tilt locking knob. Now you can also crank it up and down by loosening the center column locking knob to an additional 11 inches. My Canon tripod and the Sunpak tripod are about the same height when fully extended. They both have two telescoping locking legs. The Joel Can, however, has four telescoping locking legs. Now the Canon tripod comes in at about 56 inches from the ground to the mounting plate. The Sunpak tripod comes in at about 61 inches from the ground to the mounting plate. Now the Joel Can tripod comes in at a respectable 74 inches from the ground to the mounting plate. So when you want to film in a crowd, you will have the height advantage. It also has a gravity hook to add weights to increase stability in windy conditions. It has a security center brace lock to keep it from accidentally collapsing. Now the Sun Pack tripod has one, but the Canon tripod does not. The Joel Can tripod even has a level, so you know you are on level terrain. We have the foam hand grips on the Joel Can. It is a really nice feeling grip when you want to grab it and move it around. And it has the rotating angular rubber feet for a good solid footing. So whether you are taking some telephoto shots on a trip or vlogging and you want to get in the photo or video, or using it as a projector stand to get that perfect level for your video, a tripod makes a lot of sense. It can provide a stable foundation for your camera so you can be hands-free to do other more important things. So after all is said and done, collapse it and put it into the carry bag. But before it goes into the carry bag for storage, the Joel Can tripod even has a carry handle built into the center bar so you don't have to carry it on one of the legs and your tripod unintentionally opens up. Now it measures in at 21 inches when collapsed 
and the carry bag is made big enough and long enough so you don't have to disassemble the tripod so there you have it guys the joyo cans ah75 the 15 pound capacity aluminum construction 74 inch camera tripod so if you want to check it out for yourself the link to the product is down below in the video description so thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time